Okay, for you guys tuning in and want to see what the short steel wool is going to be. Sorry my video has been really shaky. I don't know, my hand's been hurting lately, so. <clears throat> we got the old wood stove on here. It's a mixture of cast steel and some other different grades, but it's all short steel. Some guys in the comment section and on my last video and um, on Facebook were saying there's no short steel. This is what categorizes a short steel at the yard I go to. Your yard might be different. But anything that's heavier gauge steel, this is probably the minimum thickness here on these car ramps. So you, I, what, the gauge I go by is about the thickness of a lawnmower blade. So any of this stuff is thicker than a lawnmower blade. Now fence posts, there's uh, axles in here, trailer axles. The only thing that might be too big for the size might be that bucket for short steel. My yard is uh, five by three by. So I have five by three by three, I think it is, or five by two by two, something like that. That bucket might be a little bit over, but my yard doesn't uh, dock me if I have one little piece like that, considering I have everything else. And the other thing is, is these big cast iron boilers um, and rat eaters. I know I say rat eaters wrong, but I do it to say be funny. <clears throat> I got it all strapped down. But these are cast iron home boilers. I don't understand why you guys, some guys don't know what these are. What are these giant blocks? They're boiler units from houses they're oil fired boiler units and the plumbing and heating guys go through these things like some of these some of these well mcleans are 30 years old they go about 25 to 30 years that's a peerless that was a well mclean and that one over there was some weird one i never heard of before or american standard or something so this is all the short steel now this is pipes this is pieces of angle iron, piece of cast iron, this stupid thing. I don't know what the hell that was, but there's some like uh, weights in here. There's uh, car parts, uh, A-frames from cars, just all random heavy stuff. So this is what we're going to be taking into the scrapyard today. I know some of you guys put guesses in on how heavy it was going to be. Um, some of you people really lowballed me. Hey, Joe, you want to give a, want to give a, huh? But, yeah. <laughs> Oil can. Oil can. Oh, short steel. All right, I'm going to make that my thumbnail, guys. But, um, yeah, we're going to be headed to the scrapyard here. They're going to take the magnet. And they're going to magnet all this off. We won't even break a sweat. The hardest thing we'll do is probably sitting here filming and putting those straps on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, um, uh, prices went down yesterday. I put in my video. So, I think my price is under $300 a ton for... The short steel, so we're really going to have to um, hope that there's some weight here. If I had to put a guess in, judging by how much the truck squatted in the trailer, I'm going to say my guess was close. My guess was close to 7,000. What do you think, Lunchbox? Put a guess in. 7,260. 7,260, uh, Lunchbox says. He knows he helped me load it all, so he knows the shit's heavy. But all right, guys. <clears throat> Just want to double check. I already checked my lights, but I want to double check my chains and everything. Trailer lights, breakaway, safety chains. Oh, look. Look at that. Pin. Joe, come here. Pin. We were getting so busy. Look at that. We didn't we didn't lock down. Oh, oh. That's definitely horrible. We didn't lock horrible. that down, guys. That wasn't filmed. That was a mis would have been a mistake. <laughs> All right. That's why I always double check things two or three times. Look at that. I didn't have the tongue locked down and that safety pin in because I was so worried about trying to film and not be shaky for you guys and everything. But we're using the Ford F-250 today. Not much level of squat. I think we went down about two inches. <clears throat> and when you're loading these trailers, you got to make sure you have your tongue weight. That's why that is there. The wood stove, we filled it with a bunch of small stuff. And... It, you know, if I drive down the road and I feel it's not right, I can always take some of that stuff and move it up front to make sure my tongue weight is um, correct and it's not too heavy to the rear or towards the front. So, I might film a little bit of them unloading and stuff. I'm probably going to. And uh, we'll get this load in. We got some other stuff to pick up today and things. It's a little cooler today, not as humid and stuff. So, all right, guys. We're headed to the scrapyard. All right, so we're marching our way to the scrapyard. Uh, it doesn't feel that heavy. I mean, trailer empty weight is 3,200 pounds. 
So if there's 7,000 pounds or 6,000 pounds, we're right around 10,000 pounds. And this truck really doesn't notice the difference. Maybe some of you guys with the older Chevys and Fords and stuff, you start towing 10,000 pounds, a lot of them aren't even registered or, or uh, rated to even tow that high. But um, in tow haul mode, made sure my brakes were good. We're just taking a little cruise to the scrapyard, not a big deal. I see Pendout's not doing anything this morning, driving around with their lights on. But um, yeah, just a nice relaxing drive. That's why I like this truck because you don't really you don't really feel anything when you're towing. If you have everything set up right, the right setup, and loaded correctly, you really won't even feel the weight. I don't even really notice it with this truck. But all right, we'll get to the scrapyard safely here. All right, so we made it to Weissman's, and this guy in front of me has nothing but air conditioners in here. I don't think he, clean, he didn't clean any of it. It's kind of a shame. Okay, maybe he doesn't want to do it, or he doesn't know. But, um, I don't know. Just We were sitting there talking about we are waiting to get on. All right, drum roll, please, Joe. <laughs> you gotta middle, use your middle fingers, too? All right, let's see what we weigh. Pulling on slowly. Jeez. <laughs> 17,300 pounds. What did I say? 17,260. Oh, or man. 17,260, I said. So, being what we are, I know what we are. So, some of you guys that are in the seven, six, high sixes, the 7,000 range, you might be right on the money. I said 775. I'm off. So, it's under 7,000. Because I know this truck is like 10, 4, 10, 5 ish. So I need you guys to put guesses in. It's going to be good stuff. Look, we've got a little skid loader. All right, read. All right, here comes the hard part watching him magnet everything off. So much easier to putting them on. Say goodbye. Look, there's like no material on the ground. Crazy. It's because prices have dropped. Yeah, look at the tin pile. There's nothing there. Guys are dumping. There ain't even nothing there. That's the other thing I want to tell you guys. All this metal, I did not pay for it. I do not buy scrap metal. I just collect it from people for free. Some people I charge for the boilers and stuff like that. But everything you see is free. Crazy here this morning. Yesterday there was nobody here. That bucket's got nothing to grab onto. Watch your back, Joe. Now you guys can start to see what I was dumping in the middle. Look at all that. Trailer axles, axles, all kinds of stuff, man. I think it is to sit here and work on a machine to be on one of these machines. I know some of you guys work for the scrap companies and stuff that watch my videos. It's probably pretty cool to sit there and move material it's like a giant kid in a candy store.
dumped all his rotors. <laughs> Crazy. Can't you see I'm filming? Look at all that stuff, man. That was only about a month of collecting stuff. It might have been a month. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I don't wanna make this video too crazily long. All right, that's the end of it. We're just sweeping off the little tailings. So um, we're not losing stuff going down the road. That's the whole pile that I brought in. I think that's more than they had on the ground from that last trailer load they were taking out this morning. Look at that. Crazy times we live in. A couple, couple of these big piles were some roll-offs that dumped some metal, but there's no material on the ground here. Not even rotors. There's like nothing in aluminum. Those are the aluminum bins. There's nothing really in them. Crazy, man. All right, we're going to be pulling on the scale and see what the weight is. Hey, don't sweating. be talking about sweating. Joe, can you move your head out of the mirror? Sorry. Well, I can't pull on the scale. I can't see my mirror. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> we weigh 10,580 pounds. I think I nailed it. So we are at like 60, oh, like 6,900 to 7,000 pounds. So you guys that had your guesses in, that was pretty good, man. Now, how much do you think it's going to pay me? Do you think it's going to be worth anything? Do you think I got a good amount of money coming? Hmm, 7,000 pounds, that's three and a half tons. Yeah, we'll see what we get paid. All right, we're back from the scrap yard. As you see, the trailer's empty. I'm not going to show you guys what the weight was. Some of you guys are pretty close on your guesses. But I want to show you, we dropped that trailer off. And then, oh, look, one of my plumbers had a bunch of stuff. He's been taking apart the air conditioners and keeping his stuff for himself. But um I don't think he's gonna I don't think I'm gonna be picking up for him much longer. Uh, but we got some water heaters. There's two water heaters, a big uh, furnace unit and stuff like that. But he's not taking the electric motors and stuff off the ones. Whatever, it's his problem. But we're headed to our next stop. Come on, Joe. Uh, I gotta uh, go to another pickup. So we're getting in my other truck. I'm going to pick up some stuff from another community. Drop my water bottle. Ugh. Yeah, I drink the good stuff. Voss. Just so you know, um, I refilled this bottle. <laughs> but yeah, we're, <laughs> we're headed to um, another community to pick up some scrap metal quickly. And come back and empty that truck out and load this all up for tomorrow so we can bring some stuff in. Never a dull moment, man. We're going out here. We're getting into Yellow Beast now. Maybe we'll do some hits, Joe. All right, so there was actually three stops. One just had this big um, fireplace insert. The other one had some doors and a couple other little car parts, a couple of axles and pumps and stuff, and the other one had the other stuff. Bicycle in the front here. Some other random old stuff. These stupid things up here we put. Barbecue grill, it smells like Yeah, there's a barbecue grill, it smells like dog shit. But all right, we're gonna go home and start loading it on the trailer and getting some of the stuff on the other truck and go through it separate it out but never a dull moment man we want to hurry and get this stuff loaded up to go all right so we're gonna end this video but i went and picked up more stuff this was the that was in the back of this truck and we took what, what i picked up um in this truck and put some of it in here with the stuff that i picked up in here and we filled out the little trailer that's why it looks weird. This was all in one day. It's uh, 4.30 now. Actually, it's almost 5 o'clock. And um, we, me, me and my helper Joe, we put that on there and everything. And then we went to another place with the yellow truck here. Not this. I picked up um, a couple appliances quick. They had these four appliances and um, a little air conditioner, which Joe threw over here somewhere. So I picked up these appliances. These little toolboxes were, were there too. Okay. And then I dropped Joe off and I went to two other stops. My neighbor had a stove, um, a dishwasher, and this four-wheeler, this old Chinese 
a roached out rusty four-wheeler and one of my plumbers had a water heater I had to go pick up quick and some of the other stuff I got from my other plumber were these he takes the air conditioners apart but he doesn't take the fan motors out so there's four of them there we popping the motors out of them tomorrow oh that was the little air conditioner right there is where he put it but um yeah, so I, I lost track about how many things we did today and how many places we went to. Uh, we got rid of the short steel this morning. And, I mean, all this stuff I'm going to put on this trailer. But um, <laughs> I'm going to go tomorrow morning with that trailer and this truck here, the 250, and bring that load in tomorrow. And then I have a couple things I got to do, pick up a couple random things. And then I wanted to get the stuff loaded up for the scrapyard for Saturday for the copper and brass. I don't even know if we're going to get to that because I have so many other things. I got like four or five other people I didn't call back. But all right, I don't want this video to get too long. But uh, this is what the short steel was. So we pulled on a scale at 17,000. We pulled off at uh, seven, uh, 10, 10, uh, 6. I don't know why my camera is so shaky. So we had 6,760 pounds and it was... $248 a gross ton. That's my price. Um, that's my price, which is higher than regular price. And that is um, highest I've seen around. Some people in Canada said there's over 300, but I don't know how Canada works with freedom dollars. But I made $748 on that short steel this morning. So it wasn't bad. Somebody guessed pretty close. I think he guessed 68 or 69, 100 pounds. I'll have to go back and look. But um, this is going to be my thumbnail right here, guys. I don't know why my camera is so wonky. Somebody's calling me from Wooksbury. I don't know, guys. It just never ends, man. But all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Somebody was really close to guessing what the short steel was. No, no decreases in price or anything, but we ran around crazy today. I... I I can't even tell you. Like, we filled that trailer and the truck and this truck and then put the stuff here and then put the stuff on the trailer. Like, we were just back and forth all day. But, um... All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this content. And, um... You know, uh, if you watch it to the end and you guessed, well, you know, how much weight it was. Somebody guessed 100 bucks that I was only going to make $100 on that load this morning. You were off by a lot. Like, I don't know if you were just joking around or if you just that don't understand what this stuff pays, but I mean, if I would have got rid of it when the price was higher, I probably would made close to a thousand, but that's why I got rid of it. So I got more room and I picked up more short steel. There's a boiler and some other stuff over there. I picked up. It just never ends, man. But all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video, man. Scrap on brothers.